Hey there guys, it's Giovanni here at Haverford Township Free Library and welcome back to another one of our evening stretches. Now we are finally into the month of November and I'm a big, big Thanksgiving fan. I don't know why we immediately skip it over for Christmas sometimes, but I'm a big fan of turkey, gravy, mashed potatoes and cranberries. Oh, it just sounds so good thinking about it. So I figured for this, uh, our first evening stretch of November, I'd choose one of our Turkey Day books. The one that I have chosen for us today is none other than Don't Eat Too Much Turkey. This was written by Miriam Cohen and illustrated by Lillian Hoban, while also being published by a Macmillan Publishing Company. So without further ado, let us skip right into this. Make sure that we are uh, nice and well in front of the camera for you guys. Make sure we see all of our pretty illustrations. <clears throat> so, oops. <clears throat> Don't eat too much turkey. <clears throat> so, it was the end of November. Their teacher read a story to first grade about the pilgrims in the first Thanksgiving. Then everyone made Thanksgiving pictures. That looks like everyone's getting ready. Right before holiday, too. Snow's already there. When Louie was walking home, some big boys grabbed his turkey picture they tore it and threw it down. Oh no. Jim and Paul and George saw them do it. They tried to fix Louie's picture, then they walked home with him. Oh, they're being some good friends, it looks like. Just helping him out afterwards. <laughs> uh, the next day, Jim and Paul started to tell what had happened to Louie, but Anna Maria interrupted. I'm writing a play about Thanksgiving. You're the Indians, she told Margaret and Sarah, Willie and Sammy, George and Jim. I'm the leader of the pilgrims, and Paul and Louie are pilgrims too. Well, it looks like we're on to a new topic, but a Thanksgiving play does sound pretty fun. First, I say, the pilgrims have decided to invite you to a party. She pushed the, in uh, she pushed the Indians into their chairs. Here's the turkey and mashed potatoes, and here's the delicious pumpkin pie I made. No thanks, Sammy said. My mother always makes coconut cream pie at Thanksgiving. That's wrong. It's got to be pumpkin, said Anna Maria. Oh, well, I think we can all enjoy what we have at Thanksgiving. Everyone's got their own special thing. Hey, Willie said, where's the sweet potatoes and marshmallows? Here is the cranberry sauce, said Anna Maria. I want the kind with no skins, Jim said, and no broccoli, George cried. The Indians aren't supposed to talk, shouted Anna Maria. Looks like she's getting a little fed up. Everyone's uh, looking for what's theirs. <clears throat> Danny didn't have a part in the play, so he said, I'll be Christopher Columbus and find America. And, sa and Sarah said, I'm not an Indian anymore. I'm the Statue of Liberty. Huh? I guess we can make up our own choices. No, 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 Anna Maria cried. Then Willie started showing Sammy how to dance the robot. Everyone told Anna Maria, we don't want to be in this dumb play anyhow. Ah, looks like he, no one's going to help her out at this point. <clears throat> the teacher brought out a big brown cardboard box. How about making a giant turkey day? Or, or how about making a giant class turkey, she said. In her scrap of bags, or er, in her scrap bag, the kids found some long red socks for their legs and red felt for under the turkey's chin. A brown paper bag was the head, and a funnel was the beak. And Anna Marie stopped writing her play. I'm first to be the turkey, she said. Oh, uh oh, looks like there might be some conflict. But Danny shouted, Don't let her, the big bossy stupid. In nursery school, she was bothering me. In kindergarten, she was bothering me. All my life, she's been bothering me. Now, now, the teacher said, she did ask first, why don't we take turns? We don't want turns of her. She can have it. Everyone walked away. The teacher helped uh, Anna Maria put on the turkey. Anna Maria went around saying, gobble, 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 but no one would listen. No one would even look at her. Then Jim whispered in the turkey's funnel, Let Louie be the turkey now. Why should I? I asked first, Anna Maria said. But she went over to Louie and said, Hey, here, you want to be the turkey? It's very boring, but you probably like it. Oh, yes, said Louie. 
then the kids moved over so that Anna Maria could help the uh, make turkey cookies. Willie and Sammy painted a big mural of the pilgrims and the Indians. It showed them eating turkey, cranberry sauce, sweet potatoes with marshmallows, pumpkin pie, and coconut cream pie. It showed them having a baseball game afterwards. One team was the pilgrims and one was the Indians. When the cookies were baked, they, they all ate uh, they all ate turkey cookies and drank cranberry juice until it was time to go home for Thanksgiving vacation. Louie's grandfather looked in the door. He had come to take Louie to his music lesson. Don't tell your grandfather it's you, whispered Paul. And everyone shouted, Louie isn't here! Louie's grandfather looked worried. Then Louie jumped up and hugged him. Grandfather, it's me, he said, and everyone laughed. Soon, it was time to go home. Happy Thanksgiving, they all shouted. Don't too, eat too much turkey. Happy Thanksgiving. And that was Do Not, uh, Don't Eat Too Much Turkey by Miriam Cohen and illustrated by Lillian Hoban. Well, I thought this is a nice one to start off with, but let us know what you guys think. We do have some more of these uh, uh, Thanksgiving books currently out on display. You'd be able to take them out for the three weeks just like normal. Plus, if you're looking for any other ones, just come on in and let us know. If you like, you can leave us a you can leave us a comment on any of our social media platforms, such as YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram at Haverford Township Free Library. Or you could also go on to our website as well if you're trying to reach us. All right. Well, I think that's enough from me today. I hope that you guys have a nice rest of your night now. Bye bye.